Writing content can easily take hours away from you. Today, I want to introduce you to AI SEO, an AI copywriting assistant which can help you save hours on your content writing. Let's try it out. Now, let me show you how AI SEO can save you for many hours in your content writing. We have the dashboard here, which just gives you a briefly overview of your account. But going into the generate menu, this is where you will save a lot of time. So we have right now six different tools, the long form assistant, which is the most interesting one. And then we have some copywriting templates, a blog post generator, readability improver, an article generator, and a content paraphraser. But let's just dive right into the long form assistant. Here you can see that you can either start from scratch or you can go through their blog post workflow. I will choose now to go through their blog post workflow. And here we need to choose our search query, the location of what we want to target with this article and the title of the article. See already here, I wish that they would be able to generate the title based on the search query, but let's just go ahead and fill this out. So I've chosen the search query, five best WordPress cache plugins. I have chosen United Kingdom as the location and the title is here are the top five best WordPress cache plugins. So let's create this new SEO document. So you can see now here we come in and now we need to describe what this entire blog post is going to be about, add some keywords and a title. And here they can actually generate the title. So this is a little bit confusing, but let's just fill out the meta description to begin with. So I've now filled out a meta description, some keywords, and now let's try and generate some titles based on this. So you can see right now they are showing an animation where it says the magic is taking place. And this generation of content is taking a little bit too long. If you ask me, I have seen much faster than that. But now you can see here, we get a lot of undefined titles, which mean that they couldn't generate content. The top one here is saying 10 free WordPress caching plugins. You need to enable caching plugins. These titles are terrible. So let's try and generate some titles again and see. Now we got some different ones. Again, we get a lot of undefined, not the best user experience. But I like the one here where it says eight WordPress caching plugins that improve speed and user experience. Let's choose that one. So now we have our title and they have now generated some different introductions for us. What we need to do now is to read these introductions and then see which one fits best the article we are writing right now and then go with that one. As my title is mentioning eight WordPress caching plugins, I will go with the first one where it mentioned these eight can help reduce your site's loading time by up to 64%. And right now it's only showing two here, but we can always add more later. So let's go with this one. And then in the bottom, we can either generate again or we can just go to the editor. So now we are on the way to the editor where we can wrap up our article. So this is the editor and you can see we have our title and our introduction already in here. What I usually do is that I go to the outline and then I wait for the SERP to extract data. When the SERP has extracted data, then we can build our outline. In the SERP section, you can see it's extracting data right now. And based on my testing, it is not always showing me so much data in this section. So let's see how it will go. So you can see here it has one from elementor.com with one H1 and then a lot of text under. We can also go to the next one and see monster insights are here showing six different ones. A themes only one H1. And then we have kinsta.com which is showing seven best WordPress caching plugins. So let's go back to the outline here and let's select an outline. So you can see all of these are pulled from the SERP. So they are already written and published to Google. But the one from HubSpot here I like. So let's say that I want to add at least WP Rocket, WP Fastest Cacher, WP Optimize, also W3 Total Cacher. And then we need to choose four more of these. I also like this heading right here, speeding up your site. And then we need a conclusion heading. So let's go back to the editor because now we have our entire outline. So we can then copy the headings into our document and then you can see that it's ready. What I can also do is if I delete this outline we just built, then I can just click on the AI draft and then it will generate an entire draft 
based on the SERP. So let's see what we get back from this. It is now done generating for the entire article and you can see that it's very messy. If you click around in the article while the AI is writing for you, you will get a completely mess. So just let it finish writing all of your article and then you can read it through. But the content generated is not blowing me away to be honest. Because here for instance we are talking about a cache enabler which is made by KeyCDN but the text generated is talking about WP Super Cache, which is a completely different cache plugin. Down here in speeding up your site, this is supposed to be a generic title talking about what you can do except for these caching plugins. And what it did instead was just that it took W3 Total Cache and just talked about that. The conclusion is just talking about WP Rocket and WP Cache down here, not really wrapping up the entire article. Then we have a little line here about Hummingbird, again something about WP Cache and so on. So this right now is a complete mess. It takes a lot of time to wrap this up and make it nice and rewrite some of the text. But this is just one example and I do believe that if you try a different example, something more related to whatever your blog is, you can make this one work for you. And sometimes with these AI copywriting tools, it's just not all that works for your writing style. You really need to find the one that makes the best results based on your writing style. But we can of course also write it manually if we want to, or we can also just write with AI down here. So if you have a title called WP Super Cache, you can just say write with AI and then it will start to write for you. So you can see here it's talking about customizer, value, mutability and so on. I understand where this is coming from but it's not very readable. So again this uh, AI writer is not the best I have been working with. There has been better. But with some optimization it will definitely be great because they also have questions from the SERP over here that we can generate. They have of course the SERP sections you just saw and then they have NLP terms, SERP facts and I'll show you just in a moment. So you can see all of these questions now generated and these are the questions that you can take into your article and then answer in your article. Now let's go to the NLP terms. Here we can extract all of the NLP keywords that are used without around our search phrase. So you can see that of course, the WordPress Cache plugin, WordPress Caching plugin, plugin in general, website cache, website webmaster tool, and so on. This is the different types of keywords that is used around our search phrase. So here, for instance, they're talking about Monster Insight. Maybe I should add a section talking about Monster Insight. So that section could be targeted to those who search for something about Monster Insight and WordPress caching plugins. So this is really great data for you to use to elaborate your article. Then we do also have the SERP facts here and these are pulled from all the other articles. You can see that for instance this one, 8 best WordPress caching plugins, we can generate some facts. So it's pulling the facts from this article. Let's see what we get back. So here are 4 facts about WordPress caching plugins. Where it's talking about that caching plugins can help you speed up, that is correct. A caching plugin is a web service for speeding up site loading, again correct, and so on. So this is just decent if you need some facts or some ideas to what you can write about. Now what you can also do, which we've also seen within phrase.io, is that they have templates. So if you want to build a specific type of blog post, then you can see if there is a template for it, or you can add your own custom template. But let's say that I want to build an ad headline. Then I can use this template right here where I write the company name, the audience, the company description and keywords. So this is actually short form content tools in theory that you can use because we also have the blog ideas, the blog post meta description and so on with the FAQ ideas as well. But the thing is that when you go into the long form editor, your mindset is not on generating short form content. Your mindset is on ge generating the long form content. So I really like the idea of these templates. They just shouldn't be in here necessarily because I don't go into the long form editor to write an Instagram ad or Google ad. So that is definitely something I would change. Then they also have a public library here, which is templates made by the users within AI SEO. And here you can see that we have a newsletter intro, ideas based on the topic, 
AEL compare one versus one products and features. So this is also templates that you can use if you don't really know how to build up your article. And this not only makes it unique, but it also helps you to build a better article and hopefully it will then rank better on Google. In the editor here, which is still a bit buggy, it is still difficult. I cannot use short codes, for instance, in the editor and I cannot change this one to an H2 if I want to. I can only change it to text, list, checklist or quote. But what I can do is that I can improve readability. Within the readability, it is telling you what is difficult to read, what is a little bit difficult to read, what is complex in addition to expiration. Those words are complex words. And this one, when it's completely read, it just means that it's very hard to read this sentence. So what you want to achieve is, of course, these text right here, where it's just completely transparent. Nothing is wrong with this. It's easy to read. It's not passive and it's not a complex phrase. So this is a great add on to make sure that all of your articles are easy to read. Because if you write an article that's just too complex to read, then your visitors will again go off to your competitor's website. On the dashboard, you also have the saved content, which is the documents I've been building. Then you can also get more credits in the reward sections where you can review them on specific websites and then you will get more credits to generate content. They do also have an entire guide section on how you best possible generate an article that will rank on Google. You can look that through as well if you want tips and tricks. But that is the platform AI SEO. Now the pricing of AI SEO is fairly simple. You have the free plan that you can use and it's free forever. You get a limited amount of credits to generate content and a limited amount of features. Whereas the paid plans where we have two paid plans, you get a lot of extra functionality as you can see here. Both do we get functionality, but we also get more credits to generate more content. But if you just need the unlimited plan, then the scale is perfect for you. Otherwise, the in-between plan might be the right for you. That is depending on your needs. Now, the alternatives to AI SEO are two products which I've previously reviewed. The first one being Brainwork. Brainwork I was fairly excited about and I still am. It's a decent product where you can easily go from having a search phrase to ending up with a full written article. An entire phase of going from that step to the end is very well developed and very well designed. It's easy to figure out. Whereas within AI SEO, as I've also mentioned, the UX can be a little bit tricky sometimes and trying to end up with this perfect article definitely needs some work. The other alternative is PepperType. PepperType is great for generating short form content. And here I'm talking about blog articles, Facebook ads, just ads in general, social media posting, all these small types of posting, which is maybe two or 300 characters. PepperType are fantastic at that and they do generate great content. But the long form editor for PepperType is not really there yet. So on that comparable moment, it's a little bit difficult. But other than that, the PepperType interface again is much easier to use than AI SEO. But AI SEO is definitely winning on having the long form editor where you again can go from having a search phrase to end up with an article. There's just a little too many steps in between right now. So for the roadmap of AI SEO, I couldn't find anything official. So personally, I really hope that they will work on the UX. So it's easy to go from having a search phrase to ending up with a full written articles because right now it is definitely not easy. Then I hope they will add more languages and more short form content tools, which we can use to support our long form content editor. And then last but not least, a core vital feature is to speed up their platform. I think that's so important that we get a faster platform so we easier can generate content, but also can generate content faster. Now using AI SEO, it is a benefit that they have the long form editor and the content generated is of a decent quality. But I do hope that they will work on the UX flows, change the editor to be more agile so we can set up the formatting correct. So when we insert it into our website, it is formatted correct for Google and other search engines. 
and then I hope that they will pull in more data from the SERP because right now it is just too limited. AI SEO is still a new product that is improving day by day. They've come far already, so the next step is obviously the UX and that they add more short form content. So based on these conclusions, I want to give AI SEO three stars. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.